uh, throughout those uh, five months that I started back in, I think it was in uh, March. What's up guys, Steven Ducks here. Uh, welcome to this week's uh, YouTube videos. And today I'm gonna talk about uh, last week performance and as long as this week. I think last week there was not many trade. I think I made around 20,000. And on Monday, which is yesterday, I made around 43,000. And today I did not make a single trade. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about any. And the ticker that I made, 43,000 is, uh, I forgot about the ticker, hold on. AKER, sorry, yeah. Now, recently we have a lot of reverse split tickers that they basically gap out in the morning or uh, with a really, really thin flow, micro flow, some of them end up with a 10 or sometimes with a couple hundred K flow. So on those things, you have to be really careful because when the flow changes, the resistance changes as well. Because let's say uh, the reverse, reverse play is one to eight, so you have to use the resistance times the eight equal, it's actually around $5. Uh, and when the stock spikes to three, it's not even close to that $5. Uh, you have to use the re reverse split uh, ratio to time the resistance. And because of the flow changes, and different flow rotations will affect the resistance. So that's a little bit more difficult to play the longs or the short. Today, uh, since AKER didn't have uh, a lot of borrows yesterday, so a lot of people feel like they missed out shorting the hypes and stuff. And today, you know, here we have any that went from two to six in one day, and a lot of people shorting into the, into the four, into this crack, uh, and risking the, uh, the couple days resistance. So on micro flow, it is really dangerous if the flow start rotating, start flow rotation, because it's not a bigger flow. And if there's a lot of demand on a, on a tiny supply, price will go up and people were shorting it. When they saw the breakout, they freak out. And especially on the micro flow, your, the ask is always super, super thin. So it's really easy if you have a large amount of shares to push the stock up. And when short sellers start panic, they cover all their shares. Typically short, short sellers have a lot of shares, like 10,000, 10,000, 3,000. And they actually push the stock away above the breakout level. And people who are late uh, have to panic again. And then the stock squeezes to all the way ridiculously. And, and if you're not quick cutting losses, you will be down with a huge loss. So the reason why I didn't short any is now for my criteria of the strategy called bound short, bound short has to be the stock over 50%. Now, on micro, especially on micro flow, if the stock is not even up 50%, it's not even worth it to short on micro flow because there's not enough risk reward. You have to use that to be, a, be able to apply into those really dangerous stocks because if you are feeding of uh, missing out and you will fall into those traps every single time. The most crucial things on trading is to help yourself be disciplined, have a really good habit, never get controlled by your emotion. Now I'm happy any spiking and we have a spiker, probably a multi-day runner uh, throughout the week in the holidays and we'll probably bring up a lot of sympathy plays uh, on the low flow. So we will see tomorrow. Hopefully We'll have a decent week. Uh, I will try to live record uh, trade any. Um, I think we have a market close on Thursday, market close early on Friday. So hopefully we can get a decent actions in this holidays. But just make sure when the stock doesn't meet your criteria, don't touch it. When the stock is a micro flow, always be really, really careful. Always pay attention to the stock, what is going on if they're short. But if it doesn't meet the criteria, I don't even try to touch it. And the volume. So one of the things is if the stock is trading a lot of volume, it's trading uh, 10 times its flow rotation, it's getting really close to the resistance volume, which is from the, uh, from the history. And if it starts to get too close, I typically get out of the stock because when the stock is crowded, you always 
leans favor to the long side to people who are buying. Now, the reason why you don't want to buy all those microflow stocks because they did now the reason they want to do a reverse spread is number one, uh, they did too many uh, offerings and tried to raise money. Stock goes below one, and they didn't fit the Nasdaq requirements. Then they have to do a reverse spread to get the stock above one. When the stock is microflow, people tend to manipulate it and trap the shorts, make the stock go really high, and dump it on all those retail sellers. Trading on those things is really, really difficult because they are designed to trap retail buyers and sellers. So always try to focus on the price action. Try to be super careful. Every single trade you make has to have a maximum loss. It has to have a decent risk reward, especially on those micro micro flow. Uh, now you can see the stock is going uh, breaking out again, uh, push it to seven. So tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, gap up decent, gap up to 10 or uh, 12 maybe, something ridiculous. I will probably see a dump tomorrow because people want to get rid of their shares in, in the holidays. We'll see tomorrow. Anyways, guys, happy holidays. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoy yourself. And we're also doing a special Thanksgiving sale on our tier 1 year sub, tier 2 year sub, and our trading technique DVDs. Uh, I typically don't give out discount sales. Thank you for your guys' support uh, throughout those uh, five months that I started back in, I think it was in uh, March. So we'll be giving a 20 to 25% off. Link description below and make sure to check it out. And I'll see you guys next video.